Since the introduction of the container in the 1950s, its impact has changed the world of trade and the transport of goods. Containerization took off with double-digit annual growth in the 70s, and it's still growing extraordinary. Only 10 years ago, a total of 100 million containers were transported on a global basis. Today, this has grown to 500 million and is still growing at a fast pace. Along with this growth, every corner of the world has seen the containerized transport of goods with large ships carrying over 11,000 TEU, ports handling over 24 million TEU per year, and millions of trucks closing the circle of door-to-door -door delivery. Today, container terminals play a vital part in the logistic chain, where they're responsible for the fast, efficient, and safe loading and unloading of ships. The ships are handled by large container cranes towering 70 meters in the air and reaching out over the widest ships. The sheer size of the cranes prohibits them from working on adjacent hatches, limiting berth productivity and flexibility of operations. While the cranes work close to each other, a tunnel effect is formed, creating congestion below the crane. As a result, 400 meter long ships are handled with, at most, 7 to 10 cranes, working at 30 to 40 moves an hour. Here you see how standard 27 meter wide container cranes prevent operations in adjacent bays, because the bay is blocked by the crane legs. This limits the number of cranes able to work on a ship. The number of cranes on a ship is further reduced by the fact that cranes cannot move anymore when working buffer to buffer. This puts a practical ceiling on the berth productivity of approximately 250 moves per hour, resulting in port stays of over 24 hours for the largest vessels. The long duration of the loading and unloading process is a constant challenge for our customers. APM Terminals has developed and patented the Fastnet design, which addresses these operational challenges. The design allows for more cranes to work on one vessel and eliminates the tunnel effect by having large openings to the yard. The Fastnet design comprises two continuous elevated crane girders supported by frames spaced approximately every 60 meters. Since the frames block access to bays on the ship and since we cannot move the ship during the operation or work in front of the support frame, the frames are designed so they can move out of the way of crane operations. The ship-to-shore cranes that work on top of these girders are in most aspects similar to the upper works of existing cranes. They are low and narrow container cranes. The main difference is at the water side, where a special design allows the support of the boom and trolley girder to run on top of the main continuous girder, while the boom and trolley girder themselves pass below the girder. The support structure eliminates the need for crane legs and makes it possible to construct a narrow crane. This allows cranes to work on adjacent hatches on ships instead of alternate hatches, as is required on standard cranes today. This is the main advantage of the Fastnet design. Many more cranes can serve a ship and we can achieve far higher berth productivity. The other main advantage is that the spacing of the frames allows good access for trucks, hence facilitating high productivity also in ground operations. The design also allows each crane to pass the waterside support frames. All technologies used in the crane are in operation today, making the design an innovative rearrangement of existing technologies. The main benefit of the Fastnet design comes from the ability to work on adjacent hatches, increasing the number of cranes working on one ship. This is made possible by constructing cranes 13 meters wide, half the width of standard cranes. In practical terms, it means the number of cranes working on a ship can be doubled or even more, depending on stowage planning. This cuts the vessel turnaround time in half, which delivers significant value for our customers. 
Birth simulations have shown the Fastnet design has the ability to reach birth productivities of 450 moves per hour, double what it is today. Further analysis has shown an automated yard and ground transport will be able to keep up with the high throughput. Container terminals are recognized in ports around the world by the characteristic site of container cranes. The ships are offloaded at a certain speed, which varies from port to port, but the service provided remains a commodity. The Fastnet design, however, impacts terminal productivity in an unprecedented way. It has the potential to become the differentiator, which is needed to create the competitive edge. This unprecedented productivity has the potential to revolutionize the industry and become a game changer.